Hi everyone, it's Carl here. Today I'm going to do a list of my top five favorite Michelle Pfeiffer movies. Starting off number five on the list would be Wolf, where she plays love interest of this werewolf and she's unaware of it to kind of the middle of the movie and she's kind of terrified and she basically has to deal with it because he's kind of like a loose cannon. Yeah, number five, Wolf. All right, number four on my list would be Witches of Eastwick, where she plays a witch among two other witches, and they live with this guy, and they basically form a plan to kill him because he is like a womanizer and he basically turns into like a big monster and they still kill him with their uh, magic and yeah definitely a good movie which is basic all right number three on the list would be ant-man and wasp where she plays Jan van dyme and she plays the wife of hank pym and she's stuck in the clown realm for like 30 years and Hank Pym goes on a mission to rescue her after one of his apprentices, Paul, I mean, Scott Lang, I mean, finds out that he has a antenna implanted by her so Hank Pym can find her and Scott Lang helps him and Hope Van Dyme, her daughter, find Janet and basically pretty good movie. Uh, a lot of suspense in it and it's got the villain called Ghost and they basically have to deal with her to the end of the movie. So yeah, definitely number three, Ant-Man and the Wasp. All right, number two on my list would be Starface, where she plays Elvira, and she's the love interest of Tony Lantana, and yeah, she definitely uh, did a good job as a supporting actress. So yeah. All right, moving on. First on my list would be Batman Returns, where she played Catwoman, and she basically did a good job playing Catwoman and a perfect performance, portrayal, and costume. Yeah, so number one, Batman Returns. All right. I hope you enjoyed my list of top five favorite Michelle Pfeiffer movies. Let me know which ones are your favorite. Are they the same as mine? Are they different? And thanks for watching. Okay, I guess it's day. Bye now.